Well, hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel and episode 10 of my training log. This week was a little bit of a down week, a rest week. Uh, maybe not so much intentionally, but hey, I will take it. So Monday, December 8th was a rest day from my running. I had just done the 40 mile birthday run two days prior, so I wanted to let the legs rest, but it did call for a strength workout. So Mike Thompson, my strength coach, had a good workout for me that I was able to do in my home. It was more of a core activation workout, so a lot of you know planks and uh, kind of body weight things. I really didn't need weights per se. So it was a good day though, good workout still. And overall, my body was feeling pretty, pretty good considering I had just run 40 miles two days prior. Well, Tuesday, December 9th called for 45 minutes of an easy run. And that's what I did. I went out nice and easy wearing the Hoka Arahi 7s. And I was using the Insta360 Ace Pro camera during this footage. I was actually getting some test footage uh, with the GoPro as well. For the review video, which will be coming out very soon, I'm trying to get the final touches on that. But run went well, five miles. Again, keeping it very easy, just relaxing the legs, uh, very chill pace. Well, Wednesday, December 10th, called for some speed work, and this was gonna be some hill repeats, doing about one and a half minutes at an eight RPE uphill, turn around, go back down, do it again. I think it was about four or five times. However, I did not do that. I was also supposed to have a strength workout of about an hour, uh, another good workout from my coach, Mike, but I was just feeling really, really run down Wednesday. I don't know what it was. Um, I hadn't been sleeping very well for about two days, just kind of, I don't know, just not been sleeping great. Fatigued, I guess, I don't know. So I listened to my body, I didn't push it, I didn't go try to force a run where it was really supposed to be a quality session and it would not have been at all. And then I also didn't want to push my body in the gym, so I just completely took another rest day. Did I say December? Well, Thursday, January 11th called for an hour easy run. However, with missing my hill workout the day before, I wanted to get a little elevation, but I hopped on the treadmill for some Netflix and mill and I did do some hills. It was easy. I didn't do a fast pace at all. I didn't, still didn't want to push the body, uh, but just did an easy pace, you know, getting a decent amount of elevation. So it ended up being 6.6 .6 miles, 1,200 feet of elevation gain, you know, ran right the Hoka Arahi 7s again. But then that evening, I had a meeting with a uh, very big brand, and the uh, meeting went very well. We talked for about 45 minutes, and it was just good to uh, meet some people I've been conversing with via email. So excited uh, about that and some future possibilities with the brand, but uh, it was cool. It was a good experience. So Friday, January 12th called for a cross training day. So this said to either go for a hike, do some form of cross training activity, or take a complete rest day. I chose to get on the treadmill for some power hiking only. I did no running at all, but I was wearing a 16 pound weighted vest. So I did an hour and uh, just under a 20 minute pace and did a little over three miles with 2,833 feet of elevation gain. Most of that was at 15% incline, but I did do a little bit at 20% incline as well and just felt good to get some elevation gain in the legs again, even if it was manufactured vert, it was still, still vert. But then I also had to go to the gym and work out. So I was there for about an hour, uh, just about. I didn't film in the gym too much other than a quick clip with my cell phone because it was definitely a busier day in the gym. There were more people, especially in the functional area that I was in. So I didn't want to get the camera out, but uh, it was a good session in the gym. Well, Saturday, January 13th called for a long run. And this was supposed to be two and a half hours. And uh, we had been having a Arctic blast, a very lot of cold weather. Friday was incredibly cold. Saturday was very cold, but I did go ahead and hit the trails for a run. All right, I am out here on the Intman Trail for a two and a half-ish hour run. It is incredibly cold today. We got an Arctic blast coming through. Man, that's a nice house. Uh, right now it is four degrees, but with the wind chill, it feels like negative 14. So I've got all the thermals on, big jacket, big mittens, got hand warmers with me, and I've got a special ski mask for the face should my, uh, you know, nose and everything start feeling pretty, pretty cold, but I should warm up. Got a good climb starting right now <laughs> up this front side, and then I'm going to go over, over uh, Iron Mountain, maybe Red Mountain and then hopefully the Manitou incline as well. Got the spikes in the back. Yeah, it's gonna be cold. 
Whew, but it is a good day. I'm gonna go all the way down there on that trail. Go over there around the mountain and then probably up that mountain right there that's red. Just beyond that mountain is Mount Manitou. I think that's the name of it. But you can see the uh, Manitou incline. So I'll be going up there. I'm trying to keep these glasses from fogging. I keep having to take them off. Especially when I have the mask up or the buff up. It keeps fogging up can't see but I need the mask because it warms the air up a little bit before it goes into my lungs which is crucial when it's this cold gotta be careful for respiratory damage Up here on top of Red Mountain, you can see the Manitou incline behind me, probably. Maybe not. Let's see. <sighs> yep, there's the incline. Gotta go up that next. Just came from over there, that flat top. That's Iron Mountain. All right, I'm gonna grab a gel, drink some more Tailwind or uh, Gnarly. I got to Gnarly today, and then head down. about to get really steep here in about another hundred steps. easily below 20 below 20 minutes he was flying he ran every bit jacket is frozen shut <laughs> luckily I uh, drank all of my liquids the last time and now I can't get it open <laughs> oh well I don't have too much further to go well, I didn't film a whole lot after that clip where my jacket froze shut because I started getting very very cold uh, I made a mistake on Saturday it was very cold when I finished it was Real temperature was, actual temperature was two degrees, but the actual real feel with the wind chill was like negative 16. And as you could tell in that last clip, the sun had started to set. It was, I mean, it was still only like 3.30, but it was behind the mountain, so it was dark on that side. And uh, I, was, I was wet. Uh, basically, I, I made a bad choice in my route, knowing that I am a heavy sweater. I should have known better with it being so cold. I did choose to go up the Manitou incline that you saw and no matter who you are it's going to work up a sweat at, at the incline it's just it's crazy and i was going slower because my legs were very tired from the elevation from the day before on the treadmill with the vest 
but I was still working up a crazy, quite crazy sweat. And actually by the time I got to the bottom of the incline, I sat there for a second and took off my spikes and then took a gel and got running again. But uh, instantly I could feel that my thermal shirt that I was wearing, which was a tight, like form fitting Tesla uh, thermal shirt from Amazon, it was uh, drenched, it was wet. And that's not good when it's that cold outside. So uh, I ended up pretty much having to do a tempo run uh, the last couple of miles uh, uphill and on the flats running, I saw sometimes in the sevens. Miles weren't that because there was elevation as well. So I was running uphill at a faster pace, trying to get my heart rate going, keep the blood flowing and warm up because my stomach was so cold. I, I stuck my mitten under my shirt and I could kind of pinch the fabric and pull it away from my skin and instantly I could feel warmer air. And as soon as that jack, that shirt touched my skin again, it was wet, it was just so cold, it was freezing my stomach. It was incredibly red when I got back to the car. Uh, it took a while to get the feeling back in my stomach, to be honest. My jacket was completely frozen at the top, not just the zipper, but the actual jacket itself all up through here was just solid ice. The bottom of the jacket on the back and my shirt was completely frozen. So uh, I am a heavy sweater and I should have known better than to pick a route that I was gonna be working up such a sweat in that temperatures. Had I just been doing a flat greenway easy run, like really, really easy, it would have been fine. But with me being such a, a crazy sweater, I gotta learn from my mistakes. And uh, if crisis was averted here, it was fine. I warmed up, no hypothermia. But uh, had I tripped, fallen, busted an ankle, broke a leg, been on the trails, it could have been bad. Could have been, been very bad. Luckily, I was on well-traversed trails. I saw several hikers. The incline was very crowded. Uh, but yeah, definitely gotta be more smart in my attire. The, the attire was okay, it's just the route was bad. I should not have should not have done the incline and got so so sweaty in such cold temperatures. But with that said, the Hoka Speed Goat 5 Gore-Tex, the GTX, did awesome. My feet were very warm the entire time, never got cold. My legs and the bay leaf thermals were great. Uh, I did have some ice building up on my crotch and on my butt where I was sweating or the sweat dripping out of the back of my, my jacket, my shirt. And then my hat, as you saw, was completely frozen over. I had to wear the buff pretty much the whole time to try to warm up the breath a little bit before I took it into my lungs, which helped a lot. But it was cold, it was cold. It ended up being 10.62 miles, uh, over 4,400 feet of elevation gain. I actually PR'd my descent coming down the incline with the spikes on. Uh, that was the fastest I went so far, so that was cool. But uh, that kid that I saw running up the incline, I talked to him for a minute at the bottom of the incline, and he's, he was foreign, uh, I believe maybe from Spain somewhere was his accent but that he was insane. He literally, um, no joke, ran every step of the incline. And if I had to guess, he was probably 20 minute flat, maybe even under 20 minutes. He was that quick. So very impressive to see. And him coming down the incline, he had no spikes on and he was flying. Just insane. Really, really cool to see that. So anyway, overall, Good day, glad to get it done. Well, today's Sunday, January 13th, called for an hour easy run. It's still very cold. This morning when we woke up, it was negative eight degrees with a wind chill of negative 25. So I learned my lesson, I stayed inside, hopped on the treadmill again for some Netflix and mill, and I did get a little bit of elevation gain, just 212 feet, 6.77 miles, keeping it very easy. Legs are feeling the elevation over the last two day, three days. That Friday, a weighted vest, uh, power hiking, and then the incline and the elevation gain. Uh, my legs are feeling it, they were tired. So uh, overall, an okay day. Well, for the week with that extra day off, Wednesday not running, and then doing a lower mileage long run, but getting a lot more elevation gain on Saturday. The mileage was only 32.15 miles, six hours and 20 minutes of running, 9,102 feet of elevation gain. But then on top of that, I did have the uh, strength workouts also. I did miss one of my workouts on Wednesday, but still had one hour and 44 minutes worth of strength workouts. So still a decent week. Uh, body probably could have used a rest week anyway. So it was good to have that in there. Hopefully next week will be a little bit higher mileage and uh, kind of back to normal training. Also, don't forget, I still have some hats in stock. So take a look below in the description. There is a link to go purchase those. I would appreciate the support and you'd get a really cool hat. But anyway, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you. If you haven't seen my 40th birthday run video, last week's episode, take a look at that on your screen. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.